My favorite reef system in all of the Keys is Molasses Reef. That's probably our crown jewel in the National Marine Sanctuary here in the Florida Keys. There's 32 mooring balls in this stretch of reef, which is about three quarters of a mile long. Molasses Reef is one of the largest reefs in the Upper Keys and one of the most well known for very good reason. Typically gets the best visibility of any of the reef sites in the Upper Keys. It's not uncommon to have 60, 80, 100 feet of visibility at Molasses. It's a big reef area. There are a lot of different mooring buoys out at Molasses and different sites. The diving there is anywhere from 18 to 38 feet on the main reef section. We do have some deeper reef balls that go out to 60 feet, and then the wall rolls over to 90. So plenty of diversity there, lots of big high profile coral. Molasses Reef is the kind of place that both scuba divers and snorkelers go to. There's a lot you can see because the bottom, while it may be 22 to 25 feet away, the coral heads may come within 12 feet of the surface, even shallower at the, at the backside. It's good for all skill levels, I would say. However, at the south end, there's typically more current, so that might require greater skills on some days. Central Molasses is really easy scuba diving for most anybody. One of my favorite sites is called the Winch Hole. The winch hole is kind of in the heart of Molasses Reef. In there you'll find a big gear that came off of a sailboat which grounded there. The vessel Slobodna went down in 1887 on Molasses Reef. It was coming from New Orleans with a load of cotton. The owner was traveling en route back to ports in the Baltic. They did try to get it off and water came into the hull. Uh, the bales of cotton expanded in a short period of time. The vessel continue to break up. Molasses Reef is one of the many places that speak to our maritime history here in the Florida Keys, but that's not why people dive there today. There's not enough wreck to draw a diver there. It's really about the fact that it's further offshore, which gives the advantage of being washed by the Gulf Stream. It gives us clear water on any given day, and also a better place for passing coral polyps to anchor. It is a big reef, and quite often the dive operators do two dives at Molasses Reef, picking one site from the south end and one site from the north end. And it all depends on what the conditions are like as to where you'd want to plan your dive out at Molasses. It's just one of those places you never know it's going to be there, and that's a good reason to go.